In the world of modern aviation, few aircraft have ever captured the imagination of both military experts and aviation fans quite like the AV-8B Harrier II, the legendary jump jet. Built for the United States Marine Corps, this remarkable aircraft represents a fusion of raw power, innovation, and battlefield flexibility that few jets can match. In this video from the Rev Line, we're taking a deep dive into one of America's most unique combat aircraft, a jet that doesn't just take off, it leaps into the sky. This is the story of the AV-8B Harrier II, the USA's vertical takeoff and landing jet, and how it continues to play a vital role even in 2025. When you think about modern jets, you often picture massive runways, afterburners blazing, and roaring engines lifting these machines into the sky. But the Harrier breaks that rule entirely. The AV-8B Harrier II can take off vertically, meaning it doesn't need a long runway at all. It can hover like a helicopter, move sideways, or even land backward if needed. This ability, known as V, stole, vertical and short takeoff and landing, makes it one of the most flexible fighter jets in military history. The concept behind the Harrier dates back to the 1960s, when engineers in the United Kingdom first imagined a plane that could take off without a runway. The British built the original Harrier jump jet, which immediately caught the attention of the United States Marine Corps. For the Marines, who often operated from small, improvised airstrips or aircraft carriers close to battle zones, a jet that could lift off from almost anywhere was a game changer. By the 1980s, the U.S. partnered with McDonnell Douglas to develop an advanced version, the AV-8B Harrier II. Fast forward to 2025, and this jet, though aging, still remains a symbol of American marine air power. The reason is simple. No other jet before the F-35B Lightning II had managed to combine vertical lift with supersonic combat readiness. The AV-8B Harrier II proved that innovation and practicality can coexist on the battlefield. Let's take a closer look at what makes the Harrier II so special. The jet is powered by a single Rolls-Royce Pegasus turbofan engine, but this is no ordinary engine. The Pegasus engine has four rotating nozzles that can direct thrust downward for vertical takeoff or backward for forward flight. This thrust vectoring design gives the Harrier its signature ability to hover and transition smoothly from vertical lift to high-speed flight. Watching a Harrier hover just feet above the ground, rotate in place, then suddenly blast forward into the sky is one of the most breathtaking sights in military aviation. From a design perspective, the AV-8B Harrier II is built for versatility. It's a single-seat, subsonic attack aircraft designed primarily for close air support, reconnaissance, and air interdiction missions. It's capable of carrying a wide range of weaponry, from AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs like the JDAM and laser-guided paveways. Its six external hardpoints allow it to carry up to 9,200 kg of ordnance, making it a serious threat to enemy armor, infrastructure, and even other aircraft. The cockpit of the Harrier II is designed to give pilots full situational awareness. With an elevated seat and bubble canopy, Pilots have excellent visibility, especially useful during takeoffs, landings, and low altitude maneuvers. Over time, the Harrier has been upgraded with advanced avionics, including night vision systems, radar warning receivers, and digital mapping displays, all to ensure the pilot can fight and survive in any environment. But perhaps what truly sets the Harrier apart is its operational flexibility. Unlike traditional jets that rely on massive, Air bases, the Harrier can operate from small amphibious assault ships, makeshift airstrips, or even sections of highways. During operations in Iraq and Afghanistan, this ability gave the Marines an extraordinary tactical advantage. They could base Harriers close to the front lines, respond to ground troops in minutes, and deliver precision strikes without waiting for distant air support. One Marine pilot once described the Harrier as, a fighter that's always in the fight. It doesn't need luxury runways or perfect conditions. It thrives where other jets can't even land. That's exactly why, even in 2025, many marine expeditionary units still deploy with Harriers aboard amphibious ships like the USS Wasp and USS America. Now, let's talk about performance. The AV-8B Harrier II has a maximum speed of around 1,065 km per hour a combat radius of approximately 300 miles, and can reach altitudes of up to 50,000 feet. But raw numbers don't tell the whole story, it's the agility that defines the Harrier. 
With thrust vectoring, the pilot can perform maneuvers that seem to defy physics, pivoting mid-air or making sharp turns that conventional jets simply can't. However, this incredible ability comes at a cost. The Harrier has always been known as a challenging aircraft to fly. Pilots undergo extensive training to master vertical takeoff and hovering, because even a slight mistake in thrust balance can cause a crash. The U.S. military invested heavily in pilot training simulators to help Marines adapt to this unique flight system. Still, every Harrier pilot will tell you, flying the Harrier isn't just a skill, it's an art. In combat, the Harrier has proven itself time and time again. During the Gulf War in 1991, AV-8Bs flew over 3,000 sorties, attacking enemy tanks, artillery, and radar installations. Despite operating from small ships and forward bases, the Harrier's impact on the battlefield was massive. In Afghanistan and Iraq, Harriers provided close air support for ground troops, often striking Taliban or insurgent positions within minutes of a call for help. This responsiveness made it one of the most trusted aircraft among Marines on the ground. Even in 2025, with the rise of the advanced F-35B Lightning II, the Harrier II hasn't completely faded away. The U.S. Marine Corps has been gradually phasing out older Harriers, but many still remain active in certain units or as training platforms. Maintenance crews have worked tirelessly to extend their lifespan, upgrading avionics, radar, and weapon systems to keep the aircraft relevant in modern warfare. One of the biggest reasons the Harrier continues to serve is its cost-effectiveness. The F-35B, while far more advanced, is also extremely expensive. The Harrier offers a balance of affordability, flexibility, and reliability that smaller operations still find valuable. In joint exercises, the Harrier continues to demonstrate its ability to integrate seamlessly with modern forces, working alongside drones, stealth jets, and advanced naval systems. In recent years, the AV-8B Harrier II has also become a favorite subject for aviation enthusiasts and collectors. Museums around the world have preserved these jets as symbols of engineering innovation. Some retired Harriers have even found new life as private demonstration aircraft, thrilling audiences at airshows with their vertical takeoffs and hovering displays. To truly understand the Harrier's place in aviation history, you need to look at what it inspired. The entire concept of a vertical takeoff fighter led directly to the development of the F-35B Lightning II, the world's first stealth jump jet. Without the Harrier's pioneering design and decades of operational experience, the F-35B might never have been possible. In a way, the AV-8B is the ancestor of the modern stealth fighter, the original master of the skies that proved vertical flight was more than just a dream. The Harrier's legacy also goes beyond technology. It represents a mindset, one of adaptability and creativity. The Marines adopted the Harrier not just because of its advanced design, but because it fit their philosophy perfectly, every Marine a rifleman, every aircraft a force multiplier. The Harrier allowed Marines to bring their own air power to the battlefield, independent of massive air force bases or long-range bombers. In 2025, the U.S. Marines continue to train pilots who learn the history of the Harrier before transitioning to the F-35B. The lessons the Harrier taught about short field operations, vertical landings, and forward deployment still shape modern marine aviation. Even as technology moves forward, the spirit of the Harrier remains alive, daring, flexible, and ready for any mission. It's also worth remembering that this jet is more than a machine. To the pilots who flew it, the Harrier was a trusted partner. Many describe it as a living aircraft, responsive, unpredictable, sometimes temperamental, but always powerful. When a Harrier lifted vertically from a ship deck in the open ocean, it wasn't just a display of engineering, it was a symbol of American innovation taking flight. Now, as we move deeper into the 2020s, with drones and stealth technology dominating the skies, the AV-8B Harrier II stands as a bridge between eras, a link between old-school flying skill and futuristic design. It's a reminder that sometimes, the boldest ideas come from those willing to challenge the rules of flight. When you see a Harrier hover today, its engine roaring, nozzles swiveling, and the entire jet balancing on pure thrust, you're watching something truly rare, a piece of aviation history that refuses to be forgotten. Even in 2025, this jump jet continues to inspire engineers, pilots, and military strategists around the world. 
Whether you're a fan of military technology, aviation design, or just the raw thrill of seeing a machine defy gravity, the Harrier II remains one of the greatest aircraft ever built. It proved that with the right technology and the right mindset, the impossible could become possible. As the Marines gradually replace their Harriers with new F-35Bs, we salute the legacy of this incredible aircraft, a jet that could take off from anywhere, fight with precision, and always bring its pilots home. From the battlefields of Iraq to the decks of amphibious ships, the Harrier II earned its place in history not through size or speed, but through versatility and courage. So, the next time you see footage of that iconic vertical takeoff, remember, you're witnessing one of the most revolutionary achievements in aviation history. The AV-8B Harrier II, the jump jet that changed how the world thinks about flight, and still, in 2025, commands the respect of every pilot who ever flew one. This is the Rev Line, bringing you the power, innovation, and history behind the world's most extraordinary machines. If you enjoyed learning about the AV-8B Harrier II and its legacy, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because we've got more amazing stories from the world of modern military technology coming your way. The Harrier II may no longer be the newest jet in the sky, but it will always remain one of the boldest. A legend of the Marines. A marvel of engineering. And above all, a true jump jet.